the back and forth Has got me so messed up, don't ignore The signs we've had enough Of the whole damn thing that we got going Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back then welcome. In today's video I have this super dramatic, bold, fun, creative makeup look for you using the Sleek Fire It Up collection. This one is going to blind you but it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the highlighting palette which I have on my cheeks so you can see. And then we also have the Chasing the Sun eyeshadow palette which looks like that which is super pretty and that's what I use to create the look. And I also use the highlighting potion which is on my cheeks. So I've given the whole kind of collection a good run through and this is the look that I came up with if you would like to see how I created this look and see me kind of experiment with some makeup and have some fun then please carry on watching before you do please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell notification bell and enjoy the video so ignore the crazy hair I've just like waved it and shoved it up so I can get to my face and yeah let's just carry on my skin has been super dry lately I've been applying a lot of kind of products to my chin to calm the kind of hormonal acne down and then obviously drying it out so now this is kind of all flat but like healing so I need to use products that are a little bit more moisturizing so I'm going to start off by using my revolution baking oil I love this if I want a really hydrated base so I'm just going to pop a few drops of this into my hand and then I'm just going to massage oh I forgot how nice this smells all over the skin so funny a few years ago not a few years ago like you know mid-20s now but when i was a teenager so a decade ago i would have never ever 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 have used oils on my face because i would have cringed but honestly oils are not the enemy at all okay oh that smells amazing i actually use quite a lot of this you know considering how many like primers and stuff like that i have so i'm gonna start off with the foundation first reason being is i want the eye look to kind of like you know when it kind of blends onto the temple that kind of vibe that's what i'm going for so i'm gonna start off by using my revolution conceal and hydrate radiance foundation the f8.2 i have been loving this lately i first tried it out in full face of first impressions and absolutely just fell in love with it it's so good so i'm gonna pop some of that onto my spicy choco kush blend sponge these sponges are also amazing <laughs> and i'm just going to start by popping this all over the skin and then if i need more coverage which i probably will on my chin we'll just take a little extra kind of dollop right there and i'm just going to press this all into the skin as our base do you know the past few days i'll be honest like i'm so i'm off work now completely so i have 24 7 if i want to of course and if i like have the energy and things to film videos and make content and everything like that so you know of course i should take time to relax and stuff but like there really is no excuses for me I've always wanted more time to film but like the past few days I've just felt really kind of like down and like I felt isolated and I know it's funny saying that because that's literally what we are we are all feeling because we can't really leave our house for like normal things like part of me wants to to the shop just to get fresh air to go get myself like a packet of crisps or some popcorn or something take that over the lid as well but then i'm like no because i don't want to risk like unnecessary trips it's supposed to be for essentials only and as much as comfort food to me is essential it's not for like li living but yeah i don't know i just start to feel a little bit isolated and stuff like that so in my previous video i think it was my previous one i mentioned how i didn't want to talk about it much but I feel like we're all in this together you guys and that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm doing okay today, or better today, but yesterday I just literally had no, no, no motivation to do anything. I felt super stressed and like anxious. When I tried to go to sleep my heart was like racing, like you know when you can feel your heart beat because of the adrenaline that the anxiousness gives you. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, I'm sure you can. I'm just taking that down the nook. We are not using fake tan during this lockdown, I tell you. <laughs> So you won't be seeing any of my like more fancier foundations that I buy for like my fake tan colour which is like only really a few shades darker than my own skin tone but I'm not wasting my fake tan during this lockdown. But yeah that's how I'm feeling and just know if any of you guys are feeling the same way for starting to kind of like lose your marbles a little bit and feel a bit like delirious and stuff just know you are not alone at all. Try and find things to do that like you would always want to do when you're at home and stuff. Obviously apart from have people around that is not 
not self-isolating. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that. I'm just glad that I have pressed record. I've been like hyping myself up to like press record and stuff. I thought, you know what, it's fun, just press record because every time you don't have the motivation and stuff to create videos and film and things, as soon as you start talking to the camera, you're absolutely fine. So that's what's happening. I just wanted to mention my feelings okay so i've got my foundation on i'm just gonna leave it like that because i just like the way it makes my skin look and i can always touch up extra coverage with concealer and next up i'm actually gonna do my brows so i'm taking the clinique super fine liner for brows this is in the shade soft brown i would use my bella pierre chestnut brow pencil which i use all the time and i absolutely love it i was just getting a bit bored so i figured to use something different this is a clinique one a super fine liner for brows in the shade of soft brown i just said that okay so i'm just gonna start by filling in my brows very lightly i don't want a really heavy brow for this look we say that and it's gonna end up being a heavy brow so i'm just gonna attempt to fill in the sparse areas my brows are doing something a little bit weird here my brows grow like downwards <laughs> so yeah I have to kind of maneuver the brow pencil around and we can always tidy it up after. So I'm just brushing this through the brow and then filling in the sparser areas just to re-add that shape to the brows. And then at the front of the brow because you don't want it too heavy. I mean if you do that's absolutely fine. But for me personally what I like to do is kind of underline the like front part of the brow. And then you just want to take the brow pencil and just kind of like push upwards. And also this is how my brows naturally grow anyway. Brushing them up. But there's really not a lot of product in there at all. And I'm just going to go and redefine this tail. Okay, I'm happy with that brow. It's actually a really nice brow pencil to be fair. To be fair. Why did my voice go all squeaky at the end there? Now I'm going to prime the lid using the P. Louise base and I'm also going to use this to carve out the brows. I really like using a tinted eyeshadow base such as this one to carve out the brows. You just basically go underneath them to create that really sharp Instagram kind of vibe, pack it onto the lid and it'll create a really nice even base for your shadows. There's loads of these bases around nowadays. The P. Louise one is a very popular one. I know other brands do them as well. So I'm just popping it onto a synthetic brush or any kind of small concealer brush will do. And I'm just gonna start by popping this onto the lid to kind of distribute the product evenly. And then I'm gonna tilt my brush at a slight angle and literally just underline the brow. This will also help to tidy up as well and then just use the brush to pat the base evenly across the lid it will start to dry a little bit by itself and go like almost tacky which is going to help the shadows to be really nice and pigmented also kind of taking it out just around here as well because I will be putting eyeshadow around that section. Now I'm actually going to pop on these eyeshadow covers just because obviously we've got our foundation on and I don't know if there's going to be a lot of fallout so I want to protect by going underneath the eye and then once I've done the eyeshadow and everything like that then I'll move on to concealer. So I'm doing the makeup in a little bit of like a weird step by step but there is a thought process behind it. We've got the foundation on so that way when I blend out the shadow it can go nicely onto the base and then I'm going to do the brows so I've got the eyeshadow base on and then we'll do the rest of the face so it's all a logical step it just takes a little bit of thinking around so i'm going to take these eyeshadow covers from primark i've never actually tried these before so i don't know how good they're going to be so i'm just going to peel like one side of the sticky off and then my guess is you kind of create like a shelf so i'm going to angle it to the best that i can i feel like i'm happy with that placement i've smudged the concealer a bit but we can just pat that in and don't forget i will clean up underneath the eye like with concealer and everything but i'm quite happy with that because it's going to pull out here it does look quite funny though doesn't it like I've got this little like shelf situation underneath my eye then I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on the other eye as well I am done no I'm joking okay so now we have our little shelves on so the first color that I'm gonna go into is shade number one which is this purple right here and I'm basically gonna use this to create the shape of the eye and I, what I want to do is bring it all the way from the inner corner right through the like top of the crease and then wing it outwards and I'm gonna take it on this brush from Ink Show this is the perfect brush to do this it's like a longish kind of pencil brush it's very dense so it'll be really good for focused application but it is a little bit fluffy so it's not going to be too harsh just going to start by kind of like packing my finger just across the crease just to make sure there's no kind of like creasing from the base obviously i put it on top of like a wet foundation 
just using the tip of the brush, I'm just going to start kind of like etching this into the upper crease of the eye. This look will look crazy before it looks good, just bear that in mind. Rude. And also, where are you going? Just making sure that colour is really nice and intense, really packing that on. So now we've got the purple kind of base through the crease, which by the way is super vibrant. I am loving that. I feel like I shouldn't have put foundation on my lids because it's got a little bit oily, but we're going to be cutting the crease anyway. So now I'm going to take the shade, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shade number eight. Basically this palette doesn't have shade names, it just has numbers, but I will be taking this shade here, which is kind of like a berry pink, and I'm going to be taking that to blend out the purple. So I'm going to be taking it on a Morphe M506 blend brush which is really good for like detailed kind of blending work just because of how teeny tiny it is i did have one more of these but i've lost it so i'm going to repurchase one when this is all over <laughs> so i've just loaded up my brush with the shadow and now i'm just going to start by kind of packing that just on top of the purple shade and then moving it very slowly side to side don't forget we're working with a wet base um, and the parts that you haven't put shadow on are still tacky so just kind of press the shadow on first and then just smooth it over. Just kind of putting that out at the outer corner, I want that kind of really pulled out kind of shape and I'm just going to blend that across. I do still want some space on the eye because I'm going to be putting like a yellow just above to really blend out the pink. So I'm leaving this little gap in my eye area empty for now. I'm just going to keep reapplying the product. I want this to be nice and vibrant, but I also want space for the yellow. So I will leave this kind of gap empty for a little bit, but I will go back and forth with the purple and the pink and then the yellow just to keep blending it out. And it does take some time, but patience really is a virtue when it comes to these creative makeup looks. Just take your time and definitely have fun with it. Um, when it comes to blending the two shades together I find that like blending it as much as you can on each step really helps so for example now with the pink I'm just kind of really taking my time and almost like scratching the surface between the line of the purple and the line of the pink and then when you reapply the purple you'll find that it will blend together so much more easy easier <laughs> Now I'm just going back into the purple, just reapplying, and then I just slowly bring it up onto the pink a little bit. Now I'm taking a Morphe M562 and I'm going to be taking the yellow shade, which is shade number two, in the palette, and I'm going to be very lightly blending that one. Oh my god, I just dipped my whole thumb into that shadow. As I was saying, I'm just going to blend that on top of the pink shadow. So I have been blending out both of the sides just for ever. There was some little noise in my house. So I was like, I'm just going to keep blending. And this is what we've kind of got. So it's very dramatic. It kind of reminds me of like a Mario Kart course. Don't know if you're feeling that as well. So now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease using my P. Louise base. I am going to bring it like all the way out here. And then we'll be going on to the shadows for the lid. So I'm just taking the same flat synthetic brush from before. And I'm just going to pop a little bit on my brush do one eye at a time and I'm just gonna start by putting a little dollop on the lid and then cutting the crease What's all this for? it's got me turned up I am actually going to be putting a liner through the like crease line so I'm not too fussed on it being too neat which is actually quite good because recently my hands just aren't as neat as they used to be so I'm just taking that through the crease line underneath the purple and then kind of pulling it out a little bit going on the back of my hand to wipe off the like excess purple I forgot I was going to use a cotton bud to like sweep off the foundation and excess shadow off the lid but we forgot that so we can't make do Okay, so for here, what I'm going to do is take a cotton bud and just sweep off this extra shadow underneath. For the lid, I'm going to start off by taking this yellow shade right here and I'm going to pop it on the inner corner, press the wrong way around, the inner corner of the eye and then we'll do like an orange and then like a red. 
So I'll be taking this yellow here, then this orange, and then this red in an ombre across the lid. Now taking the orange, I'm just gonna pack that in the middle. And now of course, moving on to the red. By the way, I'm just taking flat shader brushes. This one in particular is the Morphe M224 brush, which I think they've now changed the color because I can't find this one on the site anywhere, but if you type in M224, a very similar looking brush comes up. The back and forth. Just at this um, like outer section, I'm almost kind of fitting in a triangle, so I'm being a little bit more precise on this section of the lid. Now for the part I'm actually very excited about, I'm going to take the Acid Trip Suva Beauty Hydra FX uh, Hydra Liner, so you basically wet this with water and then pop it across. I saw a amazing artist, I'll link her Twitter down below, and she uploaded a Twitter tutorial and she used this through the crease and I was like, why did I not think of that before? I have this one and the yellow one. So I'm going to pop that through the crease line, which is why I haven't been like too neat with the cut crease. So I'm going to take it on a Loella Cosmetics Divine Liner Danielle L08 brush. I'm just going to wet the hydro effects with a little bit of setting spray go in and then it just draw straight through the crease the same way that i do with the glitter liners this really does help to like up the amp on a cut crease and also if you haven't done it very neatly no one will ever know oh my god my hands have gone so shaky don't look up don't look up don't look up Okay, so I'm not even gonna like play that down. That was 100, oh God. I'm not even gonna play that down. That was probably the most tense I've ever been doing like a cut crease or like detailed eye makeup. It is starting to crack a little bit, but it is a cake liner. But otherwise it's holding up pretty well. I've used this liner before just as a liner and I loved it. But I think that looks super cool and like really just makes the look like bam, you know? So I am going to skip like liner liner, but I am gonna go back into the palette just because I wanna use as much shade as possible. And I'm gonna take the dark brown in the palette, which is right here on the this Loa Ella Cosmetics brush. This is the Fab Brow Brook brush. And I'm literally just going to smudge this along the lash line just so we have a little bit of depth there. So I'm just gonna kind of smudge this along the lash line, just like pushing it into the lashes to act as a liner. Now I get to take off these pads. So they're gonna leave a lot of patches underneath my eyes. Oh my God, they're so sticky. Just taking off all of my foundation, but that is fine. For the waterline, I'm gonna take the NYX Pro Liner in the shade Pineapple Punch, which is a yellow liner, which I feel like will complement the look really well. Just dip back into the purple and I'm gonna run this under the lower lash line. Then I'm dipping back into the pink and I'm gonna blend that underneath the purple. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes, just give them a little look. Now I'm putting on some mascara, this is the MUA Amplify Statement Lash Mascara. I much prefer putting on mascara before falsies as I find it helps bind them together. So for falsies, I'm going to take these ones from EXO Beauty, if you can see them. They are in the style The Sinner. I've wanted to try out Shams lashes for ages. I've been a fan of her for like ever since I got into YouTube. I've actually met her at Meet and Greet when I was a proper fan girl. I love it. But <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to take these lashes. They're super like long and spiky. I just never got around to trying them out. And I got these from falseeyelashes.co.uk. The PR company from falseeyelashes.co.uk sent me these, not EXO Beauty, but they are gifted but i'm gonna try these out they look super spiky and i feel like they really complement the look so i'm gonna go ahead and pop these on and we'll be right back to kind of finish the face 
Okay, lashes are on. Now it's time to fix this face. So I'm going to start off with some concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Super coverage in the shade Almond. I'm going to pop this under the eyes, chin, forehead, down the nose. We're going to go all out and then blend it out using the same Spicy Choco sponge. Now we have this sleek highlighting elixir illuminating drop to try. This is in the shade Drippin. I'm not gonna lie, I did swatch this and it looks very, very gold. So I'm gonna apply a teeny little bit with like my fingers to my cheekbone as more of like a cream highlight underneath everything else and hopefully it will add like a glow. This is more of an artistic look anyway, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Literally two tiny, tiny dots on my cheekbones. I'm gonna take my fingers and just kind of blend this out. I'm not gonna lie, that's not really doing much. I think it would be nice more on like the collarbones and things like that. On the face, I, I don't know, I feel like it's a bit, I don't know, it just doesn't really work for my skin, I don't think. Maybe on the collarbones and stuff for like a night out. Not that I'll be going on any night out too. <laughs> now I'm gonna set the face using the Primark My Perfect Color Baker Setting Powder in the shade Nude. I was gonna leave out this kind of space with the highlighting sheen thing, but I'm just gonna leave it and just set the whole face with this. Taking a fluffy powder brush, just loading up the brush, and then I'm just going to press this into the skin. Now I'm going to go on to bronze up the face. I'm taking the Barry M Deep Glow Dark Bronzer, and I'm going to take it on my Sigma F25 Tapered Face Brush and just bronze around the outer perimeters of my face to add like a sun-kissed glow. I like to do it in a three shape, so down, across, and then I always take it down the neck and then sweep it across the nose. It's just how I like to do my bronzer. You can, of course, just kind of apply it to the outer perimeters if you would like. The back and forth has got me so messed up. Now for blush, I'm going to take this Sleek Blush by 3 palette. This is the lace one. And I'm going to take the shade Chantilly, which is like the orangey kind of blush. Or like a coral would be a better way to describe it. And I'm going to take it on this Sigma F10 Powder Blush Brush. I'm just going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to set the face taking the Revolution Glass Shimmer Fix Iridescent Fixing Spray. The mist on this is so fine, I can barely feel it going onto my face. Next we have this highlight palette. Hello, all of my filming setup. It's difficult to show you. It is gorgeous, like this red, like chrome reflective packaging. I've never seen anything like it before. It's the same packaging style as their other highlighting palettes, but just in this red kind of shiny effect. However, I just think it's gorgeous, but I cannot show you because it just reflects on anything. But this is what the shades on the inside look like. They're actually quite dark highlighter shades. I'm gonna take the gold one because I feel like it's the one that will go the most, either this one or the top one I don't know the red I feel like I could use it as a shadow but I'm not going to use it I'm going to use this gold one right here and just pop it on with a fluffy brush on top where we put that kind of shimmer which funny enough is actually still showing through which is quite nice and um, a little bit on my nose above the lip and I'm going to pop some on the inner corner as well Woo. okay sleek make such nice highlighters what's all this for it's got me turned around. And then I'm just popping some on the inner corner of this eye look. I'm just going to quickly take the brush that had my blush on and just kind of like tuck over the edge just because this shade does kind of stick out a little bit and I want it to like blend in. Not that it will look natural, but you know what I mean. Just so it's not a stark line. Now for the final steps, I'm going to take the Revolution Pro Volume and Sculpt Clear Brow Gel to set my brows. I like to do this after the face powder, just because I find it gets rid of any kind of powder residue that may have gone in the brows, and it just makes the look look more polished. Now I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. Now for lips, I'm going to start by lining them up with the MUA Intense Colour Lip Liner in the shade TLC, which is a nice nude, similar to MAC, boldly better, I would describe it as a dupe for. For lipstick, I'm going to take the Rimmel London 43 Lipstick.
And then because I'm going all out, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. This is in the shade Mocha Twist and I'm going to pop that onto a matte lips. Has got me so messed up, don't ignore very nice gloss you know like a really nice lip combo i'm just gonna oh it tingles a little bit but not too much okay i'm just gonna go floof my hair give my makeup a little bit of a touch up kind of like round the liner and stuff like that and i'll be right back to show you kind of the finished look properly and this is the finished look i'm absolutely obsessed with it it took me a good few hours i won't lie i've been filming this youtube video i've also been filming a tiktok video and an instagram video so it takes me like three times as long as it would if i was just filming a youtube video but i do absolutely love the makeup look like even from the front and i always feel like that's a good sign i think it looks so cool obviously you have a little bit of like cracking on the on the liner but that's just because it's a cake liner i have laid it a few times but i don't mind that at all and i think it will look really nice in photos i had fun being super creative i felt Yes, I agree. I felt recently a little bit like uninspired to create like really dramatic looks. So I kind of wanted to like do something bold. So that's what we've done in this look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to be alerted when I upload a new video. That sentence there takes me so long to say, so I'm so glad that I got that in one hit. <laughs> but make sure to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. I'd really appreciate it. I'm obviously going to be very active in the next few weeks on those platforms. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you made it this far through to the video. If you did, you are a trooper and we we stan. That's the internet expression that I'm down with the kids, isn't it? We stan. I stan you for making it this far throughout the video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead, sit around on TikTok for a little bit, maybe film a dance video, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye!